Ever since the dawn of our civilization, we've been reaching for the heavens. Our first man rocket was a crude device. Far more advanced vessels would follow. But for two centuries, we stared longingly at the vast ocean of stars beyond our solar system, fearing them forever out of reach. Then, in one swift stroke, the invention of the warp drive changed our world. A new frontier loomed, and the start of an intense race to colonize the far reaches of space began. We named her Nephsis, 9,000 brave souls heading toward Initium, the star most likely to have an orbiting planet suitable for our first colony. Four months, two weeks, and five days into the mission, we received Nephsis' final message. Panicked voices broken by static, an alien message impossible to decipher, then nothing. Our first generation of warships would lead the rescue operation. When we arrived, we soon located the remains of Nephsis floating in the darkness. And approaching us, a fleet of alien warships, their technology far beyond ours. Using salvage technology from Nephsis, these alien entities had managed to decipher our communications. So they recounted the story. A large, unidentified ship had entered their system. Despite repeated warnings, it would not change course, and a trigger was pulled. It is a galaxy full of danger, but also opportunity. There are an untold number of species, border disputes, political tension, and betrayal. Not that different from... Defense is a stronger form of waging war. General Karl von Clausewitz. is passive. Its purpose is preservation. The purpose of assault is conquest.
forever on the defense. But no longer. Now, we unite to purge the evil that dare confront us. Follow me, and we will banish this darkness. I swear this as your emperor.